guys, welcome to scrapbook process number 19. In this one I am doing a watercolour layout with Paige Evans' Turn the Page collection. This is actually the second layout I've done with this collection, but the first one, the footage, got lost or corrupted or something. These things happen. Ah, well, we shall get over it. But yes, so um, as I said, I'm doing a lot of watercolouring in this one and I'm doing a big watercolory splashy, splooshy, splattery thing. So I started off just with a sort of a wide brush going over the page with um, just water, basically, obviously, um, and tried to make that splashy shape with the water and then now I'm going over it with the colour but I couldn't really see where I'd done the water so there's a lot of guesswork going on here and I'm trying to use like some of the main colours of the collection so there's like the teal and the green and the pink and the yellow so yes those are the kind of colours I went for I don't think I used any other colours other than that I don't think. Anyway, we will find out. So yes, I've left quite a bit of the footage of this part in because when I watch videos like this and they do something like this on their layout but then cut out like a big, big chunk of it, I'm like, no, let me see what you did. I need to see the process. So that's why I've left loads and loads of it in. Let me know if you don't want to watch it or if you do find it helpful or whatever. And yes, so that yellow I've put in looks really orange on camera. And that green looks very, very green rather than teal. It's it's interesting how the colours colours look different a little bit on camera. The, and now it looks a bit blue. I don't know what's going on, but it is more tealy and yellowy in real life. Maybe it looks that way better when it's dried. I do not know. So, well, yeah, I'm just kind of doing the same thing. I'm going back over with the different colours because I didn't want one area to just be green and one to just be pink. I did kind of do it so there was more areas that have more of one colour, but it's still quite mixed in. I did have to add lots more water. As you see, I added some more down the bottom right there. Um, and as I was saying about not being able to see where I put the water, sometimes I brushed over an area where it wasn't watered and then the colour was stronger. And yes, but I'm just keep going, keep going. Lots of colours, lots of water, add more, have fun. I had a great time. It did take a while, maybe about... Uh, Actually, not ages and ages, probably about 15-20 minutes. Obviously, it took an age to dry. And I didn't want to use the heat tool to dry it because it, the page was warping enough with all that water on. So, yes. Anyway, as you see now, I am going in doing sort of splatters as well. So getting that brush really, really, really wet with paint. <laughs> That's what she said. And flicking and doing both sort of tapping the brush for big splatters and flicking the brush for little splatters. And yes, pink, yellow, green, we keep going, keep going, just keep swimming. Oh, a big splash there, that was exciting. <laughs> I didn't concentrate too much on doing stuff on the middle because I knew that's where the picture and everything was going to go. So I did concentrate more of my efforts around the edge as well. I think I must be nearly done with this bit by this point. Are you done? No. Yes, I'm done. Look, I'm putting away. There it is. There it is. Dry. There we go. And there is my picture. It is a picture picture from my graduation back in 2015 my undergrad graduation and I was playing with my hat yeah my, my, my mortarboard hat because you know in in this country a university graduation is usually the only time we tend to get these we don't have like high school graduations and stuff so yes ridiculously uncomfortable hats and I think I was getting distracted by that tassel that was just dangling there right in my eye line, dangle, dangle. So I think that's what was going on in that picture. And also you see the robe is just so ill-fitting on me as well. It's just slipping down. But anyway, so I'm laughing. My mum is laughing at me. This is what's happening. So moving on to what I'm doing now, that paper, all of my papers, well, nearly all of them are from the paper pad. So I can't tell you what number they are because I don't say in the paper pad. It's kind of annoying, but there's that one that has like the little phrases and stuff in that wavy pattern. And I saw someone do this. I think it was Zinnia, I don't know how to spell, spell, <laughs> pronounce her last name of Abstract Inspiration. I will link the channel. It's amazing. You, you probably know of it anyways. But she did this thing where she kind of, she ripped the paper and curled the edges to make it kind of look like a scroll. And as it's graduation related, I thought I would do that as well. But I didn't want to rip the edges because I wanted like a nice clean edge around those words and stuff. And I have smaller 
um, I've lost the word there. The bits that I curled at the edges, she made them quite big. I wanted them a little bit smaller, um, just because I had obviously a lot going on with that watercolour background as well. So I did three of those and then I went back in my photo there on that quite bright paper just to help it pop from that sort of, there's lots of busyness obviously with the watercolour and with the words on that thing. So yes, chose that very bright colourful paper. Also all the colours match what I did on the background. So yes, and now I am going with some of the washi from the washi booklet just to fill in some of the gaps that were going to happen once I stuck my little scroll thingies down. I didn't want just the watercolour to be poking through, I wanted something else to be poking through as well. So yes, that's what I did. You can see as well, or you might be able to see little pencil lines that I drew to remind me where to put each one. And it took me ages to remember that the big one was supposed to go in the middle. Such an idiot. Um, I went in with tacky glue to stick these down because I knew I might need to move them around a little bit once they were down. So I didn't want to use double-sided tape. Um, I think off camera I did add a little bit of double sided tape to the very edges once I knew that they were in the places like exactly where I wanted them just to be extra sure because I'm always a little bit cautious about you know wet wet glue it may I don't completely trust it I don't I don't know but anyway so yes there we go just a little bit of the washi poking out around the edges and that's where I'm going to put my picture so and going through the ephemera pack, I always have a couple little empty trays on my desk just so I can go through stuff. And what I'm doing now is finding bits that I think will match and putting the other bits in the other, other tray. And that there is a little baggie of loads of stuff that I have fussy cut from this collection. I This collection is a, a fussy cutter's dream and it's just, yes, so that's a little baggie. I haven't even fussy cut half the papers that I want to at this point, but... I still have that very full baggie of things to put to use so yes better get using them really and yes photo down sticker book oh I saw that little so proud sticker I thought I'd stick that on my mum because she was so proud bless her hi mum if you're watching hey um so yes a couple of little flower bits I wanted to put that big cluster up there because I didn't want to just put it around the photo the embellishments if you get me just just one little other sort of bit up the top as well just to make it a bit more interesting I do not know and then other bits sort of stuck in around the little scrolly edges and stuff like that so for the most part the rest of this video is pretty much going to be me sticking down embellishments I think there's not really much else to it um I started with the flowers put lots of those down and then, oh, good timing. I went in with the butterflies. These are the butterflies done from the gold foil paper rather than the non-foil one, obviously. So I wanted, I put these ones in just for that extra bit of shiny, sparkly, happy foiliness. So yes, and I love butterflies on a layout. I just, I love them on any craft, actually. Lots and lots of fussy cut or die cut or whatever butterflies just everywhere. It, I just, I love it so I think I used all of those butterflies. I think, I'm um, actually, no, I did. I'm pretty sure I did, but they're just so pretty. I can't help it. They're beautiful. So I just wanted them everywhere. Hopefully I did cut out some of the footage of me doing this because I'm just doing the same thing over and over again. But yes, I like butterflies is the point I'm making here. And I think they work with the watercolor splash because it's like they're coming out of the splash and flying around and all that kind of thing so yes there we go oh couple more flowers as well just because I thought I just thought they it was needed really yes that's what I'm doing um yeah I'm running out of things to say because I keep doing the same thing over and over again butterflies 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 at some point I will put the title in but apparently not yet hmm oh look again it's like uh, perfect timing so those alphas are fancy pants ones and i don't know i got them in the hey little magpies bleh, pie sale so there we go i wanted my title to really blend in with the background i really didn't want it to be like a big in your face nah, title so you can almost barely see it but that's that's what i wanted and i went with the title of nice hat because I can't think of anything delightful or meaningful because I'm not that kind of person and 
I am wearing a very nice hat, as you can see. So that's that's what the title <laughs> became, even though you might argue it doesn't really match the layout. It should be something lovely and floaty and romantic and poetic. But nope, I do not do those things. I also put an exclamation mark because appropriate for such a title. And then, oh, look, more butterflies. Oh, I decided there needed to be just a little bit of something around that top left edge of the photo. I just, yeah, it needed something. So more butterflies. And I'm fairly sure, yes, no, I'm definitely sure that I put a little um, flower, flower of clusters, flower of clusters, cluster of flowers from the ephemera pack in there as well. Oh, and I put that little good job sticker as well, because, you know, good job, me, for graduating. And where's their little flowers thing? There it is. I'm putting it in. In you go. There it is. So yes, just added that. One more thing. There we go. And I'm fairly sure I am finished. So yes, there we go. Thank you so, so, so much for watching. Check me out doing all these colourful layouts. I hope you are proud. Okay, I am going. Bye-bye.